We are joined by New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez, who's got some of the secrets to the best beauty sleep. Morning, Lani. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Beauty sleep. Is it a real thing or is yeah. it a myth? Well, it is a real thing because when you're sleeping, you release certain hormones. One of them is the growth hormone, and that's needed for cell repair and regeneration. And also when you go to sleep, your body temperature drops. So the body forces a lot of circulation to the skin, and so you get that lovely, radiant, rosy glow. Really, so you actually are regenerating and healing things when you are sleeping. And looking better when you sleep too. Well, I know the thing is, is that if you don't get a good night's sleep, you certainly feel and look haggard. Can we say that? We can say that, can't you? You feel <laughs> haggard and you look haggard, don't you? I think so. I mean, it's, it shows on your face and you feel it in your body because you just don't have that energy. Mm. So sleep is absolutely essential for, well, for life. Love and sleep. See, if only toddlers realised this, it would be so much easier <laughs> on everybody, wouldn't it? So what do you need? How much is enough then? Four adults, minimum of seven hours, and a maximum of 12. And as you get older, you don't need as much sleep, so you're looking at around about six to eight hours with naps in between. 12 hours sleep seems like a lot of it sleep. Is, it is a lot. Some people need a lot. Um, anything longer than that, and then they show that it's a risk for diabetes and heart problems, stroke, that okay. type of thing. And how do you know if you're getting enough? You just feel it in yourself? I think that um, sleep deprivation is a bit tricky because if you have chronic insomnia, it means you haven't slept um, three nights consecutively in a row um, in a week. Mm. And that's no good. And, you, and the body kind of overrides a lot of things, so you can't feel it. What about the time of day when you are doing your sleeping? Because I get up very early. What time do you get up? I get up at about 4.30. It's a stupid time to get up, isn't it? It's <laughs> night time, really. It's night time. OK, uh, that's, yeah, really, that's... that's what do you call it? Um, Stupid time to get up in the yeah, morning, okay. isn't it? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do try to go to bed early, so I know that I, I, I'm balancing it out that way. Let's talk about the four prescriptions for beauty sleep mm. to make sure that we keep everything glowing and working as it should do. Uh, the first one is exercise. Yes, because if you get enough exercise, you can actually make the rest hormones, serotonin and melatonin. If you don't exercise, you're not going to get a good sleep. But don't do it too close to um, night time because you'll stimulate yourself too much. So even if you are feeling quite tired sometimes, it is good to get yourself out there and just drag yourself around the block for a quick walk even. Just a quick walk, you know, walk up to the dairy, get some milk, come back, that's it. Okay, the second thing for beauty sleep, eating. Eat right to sleep right. So um, magnesium foods are really good. Um, there is a myth though, if you, a lot of people eat a banana, if they wake up in the middle of the night and it's full of tryptophan but we've just discovered scientifically that it doesn't go into our brain and that's one of the chemicals that we need to help with sleep hormones so it's the basic stuff pr good protein lean meats and complex carbohydrates about one and a half hours before sleep okay sleep hygiene what exactly is that okay the things really you don't do and the things you do so you wouldn't eat spicy foods or caffeine which I've had quite a lot of today. It is morning. No screens. So get rid of your phone, tech, TV, computers in your room. Put them away. Make sure that the room's dark so that it signals the body and go try and go to sleep at the same time. What time are you going to sleep? Martin? Well, I try to get to bed about 9.30 or so. Oh, that's pretty sleep good. By 10. So it works out all right for me. I think I'm feeling okay at the moment. Mm. And for the final one of the prescriptions, of the four prescriptions, is medicine. Um, if you have chronic insomnia, Sleeping pills are such a, they have such a bad rap, and you need sleep, especially mm. if you want to be beautiful, but if you want to function. So if you uh, need to take sleeping pills, go and see your GP or psychiatrist. But mm. I have brought some sleeping pills. Natural things. ones, okay, quickly, yeah. let's have a look at this. Can we make ourselves up a quick cup of tea? Oh, yeah, well here's some lavender that you can mm. just throw on your bed, pillows. Smells beautiful. Um, on your pulse points. And we're going to mix lavender with chamomile because I don't know about you, but chamomile to me tastes like hay. It does. It tastes, it tastes, like, it tastes like grass. It does. Okay, so shall I make myself a quick little cup here? Yes. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Now, they did a study on chamomile, a and there. heart patients took chamomile tea, there. and it worked within 15 minutes. Really? Um, it okay, probably even stronger than the drugs, which was great. Probably ideally not the thing I should be drinking right now, as we are still, <laughs> as we are still in the morning time. But thank you so much for coming in, Lani. It has been a pleasure, and I'm really going to enjoy this. Uh, great advice, as always.